everyone, Steel Horse here. I am back on Court Farms Country Park uh, with just a little video. I've been uh, listening to Discord and, uh, or reading Discord and uh, listening to a few people sort of in forums and the like. And uh, whilst there was some good uh, interest and it seemed to help a few folks, uh, what we did with. Uh, gates what a couple of things seem to come up with some regularity one uh, is the ability to modify the main farm which is where we are here on court farms and i'm not going to go into the reasons why uh, this farm is laid out why it is that's uh, that's up to the map maker and i think quite frankly uh, he's done a terrific overall job however i do understand that uh, if you don't want to run horses, then having this uh, horse paddock in the middle of proceedings can be a bit annoying. Uh, similarly, sheep over the back there. So if we jump into the tool, we'll see that we can't actually get rid of the horse paddock. And similarly, we have we can select the sheep pasture, but we can't actually get rid of it. So. What I'm going to just do a couple of things is we're going to jump out and I'll show you without editing the map how to uh, how to remove the sheep pasture very, and the uh, horse pasture very quickly and easily. And uh, also uh, we'll come back and just run through a couple of things because there's a few myths that uh, map object hider doesn't work on this map. And whilst it doesn't work consistently it absolutely works in ways that could be useful if there's a few little things annoying you so i'm going to cover those but first and foremost let's jump out and uh, remove these pastures uh, the place you need to go is to your save games and uh, you'll generally find those wherever your if you've got a standard installation, your documents directory is in my games. There will be a directory for um, Farming Simulator 22. And in there, you'll see the 20 standard directories, which is where each of your save games is stored. Uh, so provided you've opened uh, a new save or a save game, which is the one you want to work with, uh, in this case, I'm using save game 20. Then if you have a look at save game 20, these are all the files that farm sim needs to restore you to the point that you last left. And in this particular case, uh, the file we need uh, is the placeables file in here. So what I'm going to suggest you do just to make sure you can come back to this point uh, if you make a mistake or you want to restore things, is just make a copy of the placeables.xml in your save game. So you can copy that and just paste it onto your desktop and uh, that'll be there just in case. And what we're going to do is open this placeables.xml with Notepad++ and you'll see a whole bunch of stuff which if you're not familiar with it could be quite confusing. You're going to scroll down and you'll start to see some references to things here um, from about line 43. You'll see some references to the animal facilities. Now, in particular, the one we want is this second one, which is the horse barn small ID number 13 uh, on line 62 in this file. And the position parameters that are sitting there, you'll see have three digits in them, which tell FarmSim where in the world to place the stuff associated with the horse barn. Now, in this particular case, we want to uh, just hide it so that we don't mess up anything else with the map. And the easiest way to hide it is just to hide, put it underground. So in this case, I'm going to change the second parameter in that position, which is the Y axis, if that 
means anything to you. And it's currently sitting at 99 metres, which is ground level, 99.8. We're just going to subtract 50 from there and move it down to 49 metres, which will put it underground. Right underneath it, we've got the sheep uh, barn, which you'll see has a very similar uh, set of coordinates because it's quite nearby. And we're going to just drop that one to 47. They are the only two changes we need to make here. Don't delete anything. Don't worry about it. And so now if we save uh, that file, we don't have to move anything. We don't have to zip anything. We can jump straight back out and get into our game. And we open up the save game that we were just working on. And what we find, if we come back in, and we'll see here, it's easier to see from this view, but it looks like the pasture's still there, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but the troughs that were associated and triggers that were associated uh, with the horse pasture are now gone. Similarly, over in the sheep pasture, the same thing. Now you say, well, thanks for that steel, but that's not much chop. I've still got this darn fence in the middle, and as we noticed, uh, I can't delete that fence. Ah, well, this is where uh, the mod map object hider comes in. And uh, it's available on the Mod Hub, very useful. It's PC only mod, but in this situation, it's very useful. And what I can tell you from a little bit of experience and a shortcut is that uh, if you select that fence post just to the right of the gate and hide it, lo and behold, all of the fence associated with the horse pasture disappears. Now, it's not a perfect solution, but it, as I think you'd have to agree, is very quick and easy. If I do the same thing again on the gate, unfortunately, all I can hide are the gate posts at either end. Now, if you're not familiar with Map Object Hider and you don't understand how I've been doing that, um, the mod itself is very simple. When it loads in, it puts a, a couple of key binds in. In my case, I've changed them to suit me. So Map Objects Hider, you'll find it referred to here if you're not sure what keystrokes to use. I use these ones. Uh, so... Alt-H to hide an object. Uh, Control-Alt-H will allow me to hide just the collision for the object and left shift and H will open a panel. I'll show you in a minute. So very easy uh, to use. And as you can see, we got rid of the, uh, the fence. If we come over here to the sheep pasture, you say, well, wouldn't mind access to that sheep pasture as well. So let's just select the fence just here at the end of the barn. And lo and behold, that fence is gone as well. We can do the same trick on the posts. But we still can't do the gate. The gate still functions. Uh, and that might be useful to you in a way that I'll describe in a minute. But as you can see, in terms of being able to turn this area maybe into a workable grass field and put it to some other use, uh, it's now quite straightforward. Map Object Hider also works on trees with one difference. When I do Alt-H here, it gives me the option to remove this tree rather than just hide it. So that's object hider and hiding the fence. If I decided all of a sudden, actually, you know what? I've changed my mind. 
somewhere down the track I've got my farm going and I want to do the horses again well the horse pasture is still there it's underground you would just need to raise it up to ground level by adding reversing the process similarly with map object hider if I do a control alt and H oops sorry shift and H so in my case shift and H was the keystroke I get a list of all the objects that I've hidden and if I click on something in the list, it takes me to a picture that helps remind me what it was. So in this particular case, there were two posts for the gate and there was the fence itself. So if I wanted to restore the fence, there we go. It's back. Now I haven't restored the posts, obviously, but it's exactly the same process. Shift and H and select the post that I want to restore. If, uh, select the post that I want to restore. And there we go, Ex back to normal. I've still left the one down the end for the sheep pasture off. So quick and easy, I think you'll agree. So let's hide this away because we don't want that for the minute. And say, so, well, okay, it's a bit annoying that I can't get rid of this gate. And it doesn't matter what you do, you can't hide the gate. So there's a few options, right? This is where a bit of creativity doesn't hurt. If we look at it from the object view, it's not particularly big. We've got the substantial part of the problem solved. So how about uh, we put a shed there? So we could, for instance, in this particular part of the farm, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to uh, pop a, one of the bale storage sheds and if we zoom in just a little bit and change the angle you can see that you can position the gate and now we could put this bale storage facility right there on the ground like so we come down the gate's still hiding there but it's out of view and now we can make completely different use of the terrain. Don't have to use that building. There's lots of building choices. Um, you might, for instance, decide that that takes up too much space and defeats the purpose. I can put my bales in the, in the shed next door. Maybe we just want to use something like the cellar this would be a good spot for the cellar use what mr Sealy p would call a jaunty angle and we can pop him down there like so similarly down this other one we might say well actually you know what it's not beyond the pale that perhaps um, we want to use that tree's a bit big something a bit smaller couple of trees and the gate's gone so as you can see there's lots of ways to get access um, to this land and use it and uh, we really have moved everything down below so if I now want to uh, plow create a field here it's as simple as Allowing the land and away I go. This area where the pasture was here might uh, ultimately need to be seeded uh, before the texture changes completely, but uh, I think you'll agree that gets us well on the way. Now, talking of map object hider and it's and a couple of little quirks. Um, this is a decorative object. There's a collision on it. And a bit like the gate, if I select it, it asks me if I want to hide the collision. I can say, yeah, sure. It'll now allow me to select the decoration. Uh, if I hide it, though, uh, an interesting thing will happen, which is I know confused 
a lot of people. And so if I take yes, first thing is it's going to appear like my game's hung uh, and it's going to take a bit of time. The reason for that is that it's not hiding one decoration. In fact, almost all the decorations on the map are in a single group. And so that decision to hide one decoration will actually cause the, the game to get a bit stuck and you need to come back. So I got out of it just by clicking on another screen and coming back. And you'll see it's indeed hidden those two decorations. But if you travel around the map you'll f and you're aware of other things, you might find some odd characteristics because that will have hidden decorations all over the map, which you might not want to do. The advantage of Map Object Hider, if that's the case, of course, is we can go straight to our Shift-H and what we'll see here is the extent of where all those objects are distributed and we can restore them. All right, so if you accidentally do that and get rid of decoration that you didn't intend, uh, that's how you can do it. In my case, I would prefer to leave these here and work out my land use in this area separately. The other odd thing that can occur is because of how Oxygen David has created some of his buildings. Oops. When you click on some of the buildings, it won't delete all of them. Oh, sorry, it won't hide all of them. And so that's obviously an issue. Now, in some cases, you can run around and hide more of the components, but you could well find that things like doors, you can't hide further. Okay, but you can hide some of the bits. So it really is a bit of a trial and error. In my particular case, it's not worth it uh, for that building. And so I would prefer... Uh, to have that barn, as I said before, uh, it's quite useful. Uh, and in most cases, uh, the barns and buildings that Oxygen David's uh, produced are lovely and they fit really well into the map. So they're a lot, once you take the specialty fields away, it's a lot easier to make some practical use of the buildings that are left. So, in summary, put the, uh, the animal pasture underground. 50 metres is a good decision just to uh, allow you to restore it should you ever choose to. Uh, and uh, use Map Object Hider to find the fence post in the surrounding fence that will take out uh, the fence segment that you're looking for and a little bit of creativity uh, to mask the gate. And uh, hopefully that will help you out and allow you to enjoy this, uh, this gorgeous and interesting map with so many other rewarding features. Until next time, stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. See ya.